my name is Jeff Goldstein. I'm the center director for the National Center for Earth and Space Science Education. And I wanted to welcome, uh, welcome you all to the first annual um, Student Space Flight Experiments Program Conference at the National Air and Space Museum. So welcome. <laughs> the whole idea behind this conference, as, as was mentioned on the blog, or let me back up, the whole idea behind this program is real immersion in real science. We felt um, to the depths of what we believe that if you provide you know, fifth graders the ability to do real science, they, fifth graders, they will, they will amaze. And I think that we've seen that. We've seen remarkable experiments at the upper elementary, middle, and high school level. And the whole idea through this program was to provide students not a flavor of science, or not talk about science, but let them do real science. Let them um, respond to a real announcement of opportunity to, to design an experiment that goes out across their community. Let them write real proposals. Let them go through a real proposal review process and recognize that competition is not simply a cool kind of educational experience to get kids going, Competition is the way science is done. And if we're, going to, uh, if we're going to train our next generation of scientists and engineers, they need to understand that science is done, professional researchers do science through competition, and that competition is, um, is, is in, in turn done through your ability to communicate coherent, powerful thoughts on paper and through presentations which means that good scientists have to be exceptional communicators, which means, by the way, that science is an interdisciplinary weave. It's not, you know, opening up the science book and closing that and opening up the history book and closing that and opening up reading, writing and closing that and math. It's integrated, which is what a hallmark of a STEM education program needs to be. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, where the ownership is given to the researchers the students, and the disciplines are fully seamlessly integrated. And to complete this process, whereby you go to uh, flight, whereby you look at the results, and, and the, the hope is that five years from now, this conference will see a thousand people here, where we have presentation teams coming in from many of the experiments that were ground truth experiments or maybe flight experiments that started out as ground truth experiments that didn't win the previous year and were selected the following year, because that's also what science is about. And the idea then is for students to have the ability to present their results just like real scientists and engineers present at professional conferences. So this, again, is mirroring the way that science is actually done. A typical presentation at a science conference is about 10 minutes. Every team has no more than seven minutes to get through their presentation. Five minutes into your presentation, you'll have a two-minute warning, and at seven minutes, you're stopped, okay? And then we start three minutes of questions and answers, just like a professional research conference, and after those three minutes are over, you're stopped, and we move on. And that's why, you know, the guidance on the website was you really need to uh, do, do a rehearsal in advance so that you know that you can do it within the seven minutes uh, prescribed. I'm sorry? Two minutes. What did I say? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So this is my two minutes. He's okay. And with that, I'm going to introduce Michael. Um, I always... Okay. I, I, he has a new title. Okay. So Michael Hulslander is the manager of on-site learning at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. And he made this conference together with his, his boss, Marine Kerr, Chief of Education, possible here at the museum. So thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, as Jeff said, I'm the manager of on-site learning here. So I do a lot of science education in this museum. And I have to admit, I've been at this particular Smithsonian Museum for more than three and a half years. And every morning I come in, just like Jeff, I'm sort of awestruck at the place. I'm very proud of being an educator here at the National Air and Space Museum. 
But I have to, have to admit this morning what makes me most proud is to see you all here, to think about all of the hard work that went into your experiments, all of the effort you put into writing your proposals. I'm just amazed. I wasn't where you're at when I was your age, and I'm amazed at how far you've come. You really need to give yourselves a hand. It's spectacular. Thanks so much, folks. Hello, everybody. Uh, as you just heard, my name is Harry Van Haller. I've talked with a lot of you via email over the last several months, but it's great to actually finally get to meet you all in person. Um, and again, I'm very proud of all that you have done uh, with your uh, research proposals and your actual research that flew on the shuttle or ground truth experiments over the last few uh, months. So I'm really excited to hear what you have to say, what you have found out with your research over the past few months. So I'm really excited to be here uh, to actually see what you have accomplished. You have accomplished a lot by just participating in this program, but it's really fantastic to actually hear what you have found in your research. Again, uh, we're going to have seven minute presentations. After five minutes, I give you a two minute warning, so that gives you enough time to wrap up. And then we have three minutes of questions uh, from the audience using the mic um, that we have over, over here. So if you have any questions that you want to ask a team that, that, that has just presented, please line up behind the microphone and we'll ask questions from there. Um, and I think with that, we are ready to move on to the actual uh, meet of the conference, the actual student presentations. And with that, I think uh, the first team to come up is, is from Boston Spa, New York. Is that correct? Yes. Very good. All right. We'll have, turn, turn the podium over. <laughs> <laughs>